So, is the Big Brother house really one of the most special places in modern Britain? Uh, has it had a good or bad influence on our image overseas? And what about the view of it for ourselves? I'm just uh, joined by Ruth Adams, who we saw in the report. Ruth's from uh, King's College London, and also the architect and broadcaster, Piers Taylor. So, Ruth, first of all, is the Big Brother house special? It is special, yes. I mean, it's been on the television for, for 10 years or so, so that makes it special. It looms large in the public consciousness at the very least, uh, whether it has sort of inherent value in a, in a higher sense, I think is perhaps more questionable. What do you think, Piers? Well, in a way, it's no different from many of the conversations we've been having in architecture for a long time, where the shift has moved from what something is to what it means. And maybe 40 years ago, a guy called Robert Venturi said that it isn't what a building is, it's what it is in terms of a cultural vernacular. And for me, this is no different from a National Trust buying John Lennon's house, which in itself is a little, little modest house. It's what it means that's important. But it is. I mean, of course, we've got a soft spot for it here on Channel 5, but it is essentially a, a TV set, isn't it? So does it qualify? Um, well, um, I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily going to be a part of sort of lasting sort of built heritage. Um, it changes every year. It's, it's a transient thing and it's only being opened for the weekend. So it's, it's going to be a transient visiting experience. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't have uh, longer lasting cultural significance for, for good or ill. It is a talking point, isn't it, Piers? And you're talking about what it means to us. What, what image do you think it projects to the rest of the world if this is, this is modern Britain? I think it's quite interesting that we're questioning what a house is. So typically we think of a house as a square thing with cellular rooms. And this is rethinking what it means to exist as a group of people who may not be a nuclear family going about things in a conventional way. And people are thrown together in a very different environment. And I think really to have a programme that has focused very heavily on that is interesting. And to have a little snapshot of that in terms of the building or stage set even is really, really interesting. Mm. And it is a, a wide open space. They change it around. But um, is that actually something that people are copying and they're, they're going more open plan? Um, possibly. I, 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 I think that's opinions? more of an architectural point. Well, I do. I mean, what's interesting is that this year the, there was a theme that was austerity. So it was all about upcycling and incorporating various things into, in, in theory, to become a, the cultural barometer of what was happening in England at the moment. But there's a kind of strange aestheticization of that stuff because it is a very middle class thing that we think of upcycling if we can afford to do it in a way. But actually, austerity isn't about those things. But irrespective, yes, I do think it is. it is challenging the way people go about living in their houses. And Ruth, how, how cynical do you think this uh, is on behalf of the National Trust? Are they just looking for headlines here and here we are discussing it, of course? Well, they're, they're certainly getting headlines. It's been yeah. in all the papers and, and all the television stations. We fell so, so we fell Well, yeah, but, <laughs> but on, I mean, it's, on the one hand, they may be doing uh, a good job of, of broadening their reach and finding new audiences, mm. um, or it may be the cynical marketization of, of heritage one step further. Worth it? Worth the uh, National Trust status, Piers? Well, it's only three days, remember. It, they're not buying it forever. They're taking a punt. They're doing it for three days, and I think that's a good thing. Thank you both very much for uh, coming in and discussing the Big Brother house. Very special place, of course.